Okay, in lesson six, we're going to talk about uh, the second octave of the major scale. So we're going to add on to uh, what we've already learned with the major scale. And we're also going to talk about intervals, which is kind of what makes up scales. So um, first of all, we have our first octave of the major scale. We've kind of used that term octave before, and basically it is two notes that sound the same to our ear. So we start, in this case, we're, we're playing a G major scale, starting on the third fret, low E string. So it starts on G, and it ends on G. It's just a G of a higher pitch. So an octave is basically the same note, one being higher pitch than the other. But our ear kind of hears it as the same note. So that interval is called an octave. Oct meaning eight. It's the eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, that will come in handy. That, that term is referred to a lot. So. so an interval is what the scale is made up of. And intervals uh, are basically the space between two notes. So from uh, the first note, or the root note, it's often referred to as, to the second note is called a major second, or a second interval, which is also just a whole step. From the root note to the third note is called a third. From the root note to the fourth note is called a perfect fourth, or a fourth. From the root note to the fifth note, it's called a fifth. From the root note to the sixth note of the major scale, it's called a perfect sixth. From the root note to the seventh is the seventh interval. From the root note to the eight, we know is the octave. So it's made up of these intervals. It's good to know what those are, and kind of as you're playing the major scale, keep in mind what interval you're on. You know, even count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're just going to take this first octave of the major scale, and we're going to turn this into a two octave major scale, so that we can get practice working on these uh, these higher strings, the E, B, and G. So, first octave is the same. And uh, on the split screen there, you'll see the chart extended out to the rest of the strings. So from there, first, fret, uh, first finger, second fret on the G string, fourth fret, third finger G string, fifth fret pinky G string. So we start on our octave here with our pinky, the end of the first part the first octave. Then we go to the B string, third fret with our second finger, fifth fret with our pinky, still B string, second fret, high E string, first finger, and end with our second finger on the third fret, high E string. Now you'll notice on the chart there's some red dots. Those are the root notes of the scale. So those are all, if we're playing it in G here, those are all G notes. So we got our first octave there and our second octave from here to there. So you'll want to practice the major scale now with two octaves. So it should sound like this. So uh, a couple things to keep in mind is uh, I like to call this hovering fingers. So when you're playing in a position, you kind of keep your fingers hovering over. We talked about how in a position your fingers are kind of assigned to fret. So if you notice how my fingers kind of hover over the frets that they'll be playing on. And really what you're shooting for is as little movement as possible. So you just kind of keep those fingers right above the strings.
that's going to allow you to play faster and more efficiently. So when you're practicing, make sure that you're trying to do that. You really want to avoid your fingers getting way out here because they have so much farther to move to get to the note. You want to keep them in kind of close, hovering right above the strings. And again, we want to practice that scale all over the neck as long as you're starting with your second finger on any fret on the low E string. Uh, I would encourage you to play it really slow at first until you get that down perfectly and then gradually work on your speed. <laughs> 